I'm going to talk about um, getting a diagnosis for um, SEND kids um, because it's hard, especially when um, you're homeschooling. Um, because I was homeschooling at the time when um, my eldest daughter needed her ADHD diagnosis, and this says, Oh, because we don't have a, a teacher to say it or a school to say it, then it's not possible. And I kept saying, no, that's not how it goes, because obviously if they're being homeschooled, how they can be seen, like, you've got to test it some other way. So they had to in the end, and it was through a hospital. And, uh, yeah, she got the diagnosis then, and then obviously she went back to school not long after that. But um, it is possible, you've just got to fight for it. And um, if you don't feel you're getting help, you need, like, sorry, I'm cooking mushrooms as well, um, from the school or like referral from your GP to um, go and have it checked out an assessment then uh, go through Sendias because sometimes especially with girls they can mask it so you know the school isn't going to see um, the symptoms but you will at home and the best thing you can do is like just sneakily record when you see certain things so that you've got that evidence for um, for assessment but it's best to do it when you figure it out yourself like with my eldest I, I knew from when she was two years old um, and I wish I collected evidence then because it was very obvious but um, I've done that now with my youngest and she's three, and as soon as she hit her third birthday, I went to the GP to get a referral um, to have an assessment. Still waiting on it, but um, if you let their school or nursery know, if they're a good school or nursery, they will um, put professionals in place to monitor the situation, you know, record their findings on what they think, and then that will be passed on to uh, the main school. That they go into so they're not uh, even though they may not have um the uh what is it ehcp P plan even though they might not have that um they will have things in place that will help them they will know from the professionals and from the former tutors like of the nursery and whatnot um what triggers them, what they need, what they don't like, how to do things, things like that. The important stuff, so it's worth doing. Okay, over and out, like, subscribe and share.